Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to the Goonies Level Pack. I oh, This is not good. Not good. Dave is having a real bad day. Quiet short round. Data. Uh, chunk. So you admit it. Mouth? What are you doing down there? Filming a music video with a bunch of pro wrestlers. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> you got to get me out of here. Don't worry, Mouth. Captain Chunk to the rescue. Captain Chunk. Captain Chunk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Amber was right. It yeah, is short so we round. did we did look it up and yeah, it is short round. Short round is data. Actually, uh, he went on to do some cool stuff, just like doing some stuff with the uh, like the Jet one. Lee. Yeah, the Jet one Lee fantastic and some martial other arts stuff. film. Some martial art. Yeah, so some martial arts stuff. So I want to see some of the movies that he did, worked on. Dad might be mad, Jack, but I crazy enough to stick around here. Woohoo! So long, Mouth. Bye, bye. <laughs> All right, one kid saved. All right, you little pipsqueaks. Fun time's over. Fun time has just begun. But yeah, um, people say his whoa, 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 whoa. most notable roles were when he was a little kid, though. Which You know what I would like to see? To Indiana Jones. Since they have confirmed that Indiana Jones 5 whoa. is coming... Mm -hmm. I want to see some type of uh, appearance of Short Round. He was a yeah. very popular character. Well, he was in. He's a very close friend of Indiana Jones, and mm -hmm. it was implied that they had worked together in a lot. Yeah, I actually um, saw some other people saying the same thing. Oh, where am I? Superman. Superman. Okay, that didn't work. Super sloth. I guess those goonies were good enough. Oh, well, we did it, you guys. Yeah, but Data still got a bad feeling. It's not over yet. Hey, hey, guys, help. I'm stuck in here. That. Mikey, hold on. Yeah, we're going to use the yeah, organ on that glass. Somehow. No, I was going to say that voice, the per impersonator, sounds exactly like Short Round. That's why I knew who it was. It might actually be guys, his original right audio. Here. It's you perfect. Oxygen? Oxygen, yeah, that's what I said. Oxygen. It sounds exactly like him. And, I would really have to find out, though. I mean, and I Short know. Round was one of my favorite Indiana Jones characters ever. I so, I was a super but I didn't fan. Think I'd end up like one of his crew. Because I, too, have trouble hitting the uh, acceleration on a car when I'm driving. <laughs> yes, you do, because your feet hardly reach the pedals. I have to scoot my chair all the way up and, like, sink my chair all the way down to hit the pedal. Mikey? Be quiet. All right, so there's, like, a mixture of original audio and new stuff, but I believe Data's lines are all his originals. Hmm. Because you can't get an impersonator to sound like Data. He sounded, it sounds exactly like it. It's him. super authentic. I mean, if it is an impersonator, my gosh, you are incredible. But it sounds like his <laughs> yeah. original audio. It sounds really good. And Data, of course, uses things like that. Now, I don't know if the Goonie characters are unlocked, like, after you beat the game. Like, the Goonie story. I don't know. Like if it's an A-team situation? Oh, cool! Da 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 Nice. Alright, so Sloth is red. Oh, one of these. Yeah, that's definitely one of these. And I don't think the kids can actually stand on that stuff, so we're gonna have to bring in other characters. So, red for Sloth. We'll try, but I don't think it's gonna work out very well. So, the yellow one is located down here. We're gonna put Chunk down there, and nothing's happening. Fantastic. Uh... Let's see... Why don't we try... Thank you. Green Arrow works. Someone call for a hero? 
You know I always aim to please. Oh. All right, you're you're going back afterwards. Aim right. to please. <laughs> and we need one more for the blue one. Bonsai. So we can actually destroy that using the pirate ship. Yeah, it's one. I wish that they would have Lego Indiana Jones in uh, in uh, this game in uh, Dimensions, but I understand. It's a Disney property now, though, so oh, that's really that difficult. Would be, yeah. The Goonies, believe it or not, is a Warner Brothers property. Wow. So if they wanted to make a sequel, but you can't make a sequel to The Goonies. Whether or not how I feel about the movie personally, because I only saw it like once in my life, I believe. Um, you know, it has a huge cult following, like even to this day. But there is no sequel as far as I know. But there were a couple video games like on the NES and stuff like that. Well, I mean, I think the music really draws it in. And then all those kids that were like all really good actors, actually. It's a fantastic movie. Uh oh. <laughs> And oh. I, uh, thank goodness. Hey, what's up? I'm Marceline the Vampire Queen. Because we brought Marceline in, we almost ruined everything. Hmm. Oh my gosh. So she still has some bugs. I never actually saw the movie, but I've seen clips of it. And what I saw, the kids look like they We can rent it on out. Amazon if you want to see it. <laughs> you don't want to <laughs> see it. <laughs> I, I've seen enough. It, it looks cute, but I just, I don't know. Never say die! So many quotes from the Goonies, I love it. How are you gonna get out of this one? Oh my god, what? Oh. You got some nerve doing that to me? Trying to give me the slip, huh? I'll show you. Take him down, sloth. Why I oughta... Go, sloth. You're out of here. This means no encore for me. No Guys, encore for you, Guys, buddy. Over here! You gotta get me out of this thing! Save the babysitter! Even though Andy was way cuter. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. That was really, really scary. Let's just get out of here! Whoa. Hey! What's going on? Andy, watch out! <laughs> Guys, oh, it's that same octopus from before. We gotta do something. And maybe the answer is underwater. Hit it right at the source. Gee, yeah. Maybe some music will scare it away. Music underwater? What a weird idea. Maybe it is an impersonator. I don't know. I don't remember all the Goonie lines. It's been so long. I'm pretty yeah. sure there was an octopus in I'm the sorry, original one. I'm sorry, but... Short Round is one of the cutest child actors in the whole entire universe. I mean, it would be really hard to do his voice, wouldn't it? So adorable. I mean, I haven't heard many people like Short Round. Dr. Jones, no time for love. <laughs> That's what I remember. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, you know what I loved about Short Round is that in that terrible movie i'm sorry but i did not like temple of doom it was last crusade horrible. is better raiders is the best i did not like the girl in it i didn't like the horrible like chanting and everything dig sloth dig and the, there was only one glimmer of hope in that entire movie and that was short round he was the only reason to watch that entire movie all right harrison ford was there too but i'm sorry short uh, short round was better Temple of Doom is not my favorite, but I will watch it over and over again over Crystal Skull any day. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, except for the... I skipped through the weird... Uh, yeah, of course. ...scene with the sacrifice stuff. Ugh, gross. Okay, so... Bye, Marceline. Well, I mean, the girl in it bothered me so much because compared to the other girls that... Inanna Jones has, who are tough and kind of fun. This girl is like so whiny in that movie that it just makes the whole movie like annoying to watch. Hmm. And it's just like, and then you add in like the the other stuff that's kind of like gross. It's just like, ugh. But yeah, Shirt Round made the movie. I hear you. Yeah. If he wasn't in the movie, I would have never watched it. Oh, it's <laughs> you okay, Andy? 
Yeah, but let's not tell anyone that we used music to defeat an octopus. It's too stupid. No one will ever believe us. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It'll be like it never happened. Well, Data is still gonna tell everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so Data was like the like smart kid, or he was the gadget person. Oh, gadget. Okay, mm -hmm. I gotcha. He was Donnie. More or less. Yeah, he came up with lots of great inventions. I'm gonna have to watch the movie again after playing this. Okay. If you don't want to watch it, you don't have to, but I'm I'm gonna watch it again. Alright, I'm I think it would give me nightmares. Especially the plank thing. That thing is scary even in Lego. No, form. this this movie's so tame. What? It'd be fine. But she went off the plank. That sounds like so scary. Oh my gosh. There's so many movies that are more horrifying than the Goonies. Trust me, The Goonies has a lot of heart, and you would regret it if you didn't watch the whole thing. You think so? Mm-hmm. I saw it once, and I still remember a lot of it. Super Sloth! I forgot his <laughs> name for a second. It is kind of cute for him to be Superman. Bad! Ten. You see that? Yeah, he's awesome. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're always fighting. Oh. Uh, to pay. Come on. Mm -hmm. This way. Thank you, Mr. Willie. Thank you. This is a real treat. No, don't mess with the scale. Oh. Uh. Oh. Another one of those booby traps. Get out of here. Look, you guys. Maybe we can get through. I can't see through the sides, though. You got a light? I've got the last candle. Hey, this is a funny candle. It's sparkling. Not a candle, it's dynamite! Oh my gosh! See, the quotes from this movie, it's like... You know how Princess Bride is one of the most quotable movies in history? So is The Goonies. Okay. Yeah. So if you've seen Princess Bride, you have to see The Goonies. Just once in your life. And then you can use tons of Goonies one-liners in your videos for the next two years. Okay, so that dynamite was a little, uh, unexpected, but we can use some more of it to smash our way out. Good idea. We'll keep a lookout for the Fratellis while you guys look around for more dynamite. You'll help us find some more, won't you, Slot? Dynamite? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> okay, you guys. Good luck. And remember, whether we make it or not, it doesn't matter. It's our time down here. Oh, yeah. Up there, up there, it's their time. But down here, down here is our time. What down here. That? What does that even mean? Time goes the same rate, no matter if you're up there or down here. I'm so confused. It's okay. It's it's all right to be confused a little. So they're saying time doesn't pass in the real world when they're underground. Uh. Gotta remember to invent something for this next time. Maybe that is an impersonator. I don't know. If they are. They do it a totally cute short round voice and they I'm sorry, data voice, and they sound adorable. Yeah, I'm I mean I'm gonna have to look up I mean there's no way it's the original actor. He sounds way different now. Well yeah, I mean like he's so much older now. Well some people can still like could do a version of themselves as a kid. Yeah, some really talented voice actors. I Frank know. Weckler sounds exactly the same. He can imitate his 20... Oh, no, not organs! Oh, thank God. Wait till it's in the green! Okay, good. Good job. I don't think that really mattered last time. It was glitching up. I know. I know it was. I know it was! That was so frustrating. I know it was glitching. I saw you. Okay, so we have to build dynamite. Uh-oh. Of course, Data's stuck. Way to go, Data. And not Data from Star Trek, either. Okay. I believe they call him Data because of all the tinkering he does and all the technology he likes working with. 
Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, every time you say data... I don't think that's gonna be enough dynamite to get out of here. We'll need some more. Yes, kids playing with dynamite is yeah, that's such a great healthy. idea. Healthy, But yeah, every time you say data, because I never saw this movie, you know, I'm just thinking data from Star Trek every time you're saying it, and I'm just like, no, that doesn't look like I data. I Copperpot never dreamed there'd be so much treasure in this one place. We can't give up now. R.I.P. Mr. Copperpot. Okay, so then we use Sloth. Yeah, I'm still amazed, like, the cultural impact this movie had. Our last weekend together going out in style. This isn't exactly what I yeah, That should be enough dynamite, right? I don't know, Data. Maybe we need just a little more to be sure. Because, I mean, I would say the movie is... It's okay, but I mean, like, the cultural phenomenon behind it, that's the reason why it became so huge. Because, I mean, in terms of 80s action, like, adventure movies, it's pretty good. It's just, I, sometimes I never understood, like, why my friends were so, like, enthralled by this movie. And literally at sleepovers, they had to watch it, like, all the time. Really? And it was like, I would just be having fun playing my Super Nintendo or Game Boy or something, be like, because... I watched it, like, maybe once or twice. I definitely watched it once. Uh, well, I think it's the same with... Big trouble. Think we can help him out? Like... I don't know if... Like, I feel like the same about Home Alone. Like, people watch that over I can't and watch and Home Alone and anymore. Over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. I think there's something about... I don't know, maybe it's something with little kid actors that makes a movie really enjoyable to watch. But I can't watch The Rascals or uh, some of the other, like, those kid movies. This one has, like, at least some action in it. Yeah. And I love puns, so I mean... Well, I'm gonna say that you've got little kids that are really good at acting, which is not always the case. Like, a lot of times they're not very good actors, no offense. But these kids were seem super talented. And then the yeah, music was fantastic. Going. Let's find a way to set it off and then we can get out of here. <laughs> okay, Chunk. It just said that it must have had that oomph. I've never seen it actually, so I don't know, but it had magic. From what I've seen, it just seemed to have certain scenes that just made you want to watch over and over again. Because nobody was expecting the Princess Bride to be an amazing movie either. Like it was just kinda like I mean, but Princess Bride, I mean, that, that movie is just... Well, nobody expected Star Wars to be no. a big thing either. That had a low budget and not very important actors when it started, too. And, you know, like, they say, like, uh, Harrison Ford was actually working as a carpenter. We did it! We locked the... Oh, no, no way! That's not fair! Data is really mad about this! Blood, help, Chunk! All right, this should be the end now, I think. You're doing it. Yeah. This scene. This was originally a heartwarming scene. Curious how they're gonna do it. But how could he? Is did he never get out? The toupee is back. Mr. T! Mikey, Brand. Where are my boys? Well, What's with these guys? I love all the oh, 80s characters that just popped out. Movie or something? Oh, you should get these pants off. Oh, boy. It's the Fratellis! Thank goodness you're here, officer! We need your help! All right. You're all under arrest. Come on. Hey, it's Lord. Leave him Get alone. Him alone. Get him out of here. Those are the bad guys. They are the bad guys. Sloth, you're gonna live with me now. Hmm? Uh, I'm gonna take care of you. Cause I love you. He brings him home. Oh, I love you, Sloth. All right, Walsh. Today's the day, so let's get this over with. I'm buying the goondocks. Sign here. Estamos salvados. Estamos salvados. No firme. Señor Walsh, no firme. What's she saying, Mouth? What's she saying? What is it? Estamos salvados. Señor Walsh, 
¡Estamos salvados! ¡No firme! ¡No firme ese documento! ¡No sign! ¡No sign! ¡No sign! How dare you? ¡Miren esto! ¡Miren lo que ah. encontré! ¡Es asombroso! Dad, we don't have to leave the goondocks. There'll be no signing today. Yep. And all you need is a handful of precious gems or gold. The octopus was very scary. Octopus? Yeah. Yeah, and then when we found the pirate ship. Pirate ship? Yeah, and you see that had the pirate treasure on it. We were getting chased by the Fratellis and... Tell them more tall stories, Lawrence. Oh, no, this time it's for real. How do you think we got the tools? Take a look at that. Yeah. Hmm. Lego, you guys are incredible at recreating this stuff. Music and everything. This is the scene. Fantastic! Oh, that was good. I, I want to uh, have more level packs now based on 80s movies. But did you notice how the Gremlins, Mr. T, Knight Rider, yeah, and uh, Knight Rider. even Back to the Future popped out of the A-Team van? Because oh, nice. this was an 80s world, so it makes sense that 80s characters would be in that world. That's that's your world, Luke. I If I could go back to the 1980s, I would not hesitate. I would just... I would go. I'd take you with me somehow, but I would I would go to the 1980s. But anyway, guys and gals, that does it for this. Thank you so much for watching The Goonies Level Pack. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell us your favorite Goonies moment in the comments section below. And we'll see you with more stuff soon. God bless Navi Gaming. See ya!